In other news that is coming in, amid the standoff at the eastern border in Ladakh, Times Network reports from Ground Zero to bring us the latest situation there. Times Network's National Affairs Editor Shunjoy Chaudhary in fact spoke to the President of the Ladakh Buddhist Association who shared how the Ladakhis have always stood by the Indian Army and supported the Army in every possible way. It's a very difficult time in Ladakh, sir. You have the Chinese, the enemy at the gates, literally. Yes, uh, that is true and we have been, uh, you know, having facing this problem for the last few months now and uh, there's a problem at the eastern uh, border of Ladakh and which is a matter of concern for all of us at the present year. And very clearly um, this has affected lay in a very large way. Tourism has fallen, all kinds of things have happened. Yes, exactly. Uh, and uh, firstly it's because of the COVID-19 pandemic and uh, secondly the Ladakh tourism has been badly affected because of the standoff at the Chinese border and uh, the tourism is the main uh, industry of Ladakh it's the backbone of the industry of Ladakh and uh, and uh, for the last uh, many months there's a standoff at the eastern border of Ladakh and due to that uh, it has affected uh, the tourism flow in Ladakh uh, at a very large scale yeah. how is the population here helping out the Indian Army, you are of course standing by them. About that there is no doubt. Yes, yes. Ladakhis have been always stood with the Indian government, with the with Indian Army since 1948-1947. Many wars were fought uh, in Ladakh, whether with China or Pakistan. The people of Ladakh, the local population of Ladakh has always supported the Indian Army voluntarily and uh, besides carrying their rations, their arms, ammunition at the higher post and many Ladakhi women have started uh, you know uh, making breads, Ladakhi cookies and they have been serving it to the Indian army at the higher riches and Ladakhi population have been always in support of the Indian army in the last 70-80 years and still uh, there's there's a people in the Chushul and the Manmerak area in the border, those who are uh, doing the voluntarily work uh, to support the Indian Army. And we are always with the uh, Indian Army at the front level in whatever conditions like. Now, as talks are on between India and China on multiple levels, the Times Network's Shrinjoy is bringing us the ground reports and also reporting on the situation between the two countries. India and China have been talking at different levels, working mechanism level between the generals and of course external affairs minister S. Jai Shankar and Wang Yi, the foreign minister of China. Now all eyes are on the meeting between the two generals on the 12th and that is a meeting where India hopes that China at least will see reason because winter is coming and it is not going to be difficult, uh, easy for India and it is going to be even more difficult for the Chinese is the assessment. They have a huge amount of troops. They are far away from where they should be. And India is making it very clear that, well, yes, we will look at a settlement. But first of all, you have to go back to where you came from. You have to go back to where you were on the 30th of April. 